fall off the bone. I have my clean oxtails and you're gonna pat them dry. Start off with cleaning your oxtail with some lime and vinegar and trimming off any excess fat. Pat them dry. I'm gonna season it with some adobo, some Cajun se seasoning, Creole seasoning, some jerk seasoning, sazon, garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, black pepper, allspice. Some soy sauce, some browning. Once everything is well combined, you're gonna add some green seasoning, grated garlic, grated ginger, thyme, onions and pepper, bell peppers and green onions. You're gonna give it a good mix. cover and pop it in the fridge. So this is what it looks like the next day. Add in some brown sugar to your pan. Carefully drop in your meat. We're gonna work in batches, making sure you don't overcrowd the pan or pot. This is what you're looking for. But once you got it all nice and seared, you're gonna put it aside. See all these little bits, dump all that in there. Scrape the bottom of the pan because that's where all the flavors at. And you're gonna put the water in this bowl because we're not wasting any of that. Once it starts to boil, you're gonna add in your oxtail, about a cup of beef broth, some fresh thyme. You're gonna cover it and let it simmer on low for about three to four hours or until they become pork tender. This is what it looks like after an hour, or three hours, or four hours, a little bit ketchup. Butter beans. Fifth hour, gonna take off the lid and let the sauce thicken up. And it should look something like this. Extra gravy. You cannot tell me that this does not look good. Plantains? Plantains or plantains? Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh, look at that. <coughs> Wait. 